one thing that is quite clear is Islam is still the fastest growing religion and this people cannot understand. They asked me yesterday or the day before, why is Islam the fastest growing religion still? And I tell you the reason that I feel having spoken to a lot of the women, because the bulk of those who are entering the fold of Islam, are actually women, when they feel that we've now been enslaved in such a cunning way that we don't realize we're enslaved. They used to be naked a long time ago. You know, Robert Mugabe is the president of Zimbabwe. So he said, you know, we all know that he stands for morals and values and he's very strict when it comes to certain things and he doesn't want to budge when it comes to certain issues, right? Now, I'm saying this in a good way that many, many years ago, the colonialists came to Africa. They found them dressed in uh, feathers and leathers and skins and they had spears and you know, the traditional African dress. They told them, you are backward. You need to clothe, cover yourself. So they covered themselves. 200 years later, they told him, you are backward, remove the clothing once again. So, so now when they are going back to dressed, to being dressed in less than what they used to be dressed a long time back, they are being told you are liberated. And yet in the middle, they were honestly saying dress because when you dress, you are liberated. So what is it? So what, what's happening right now is the women who are becoming fed up of being enslaved by the makeup industry, for example, so enslaved that they cannot even walk out of the house without having spent 400 ringgits on the face. It's a reality and they can't walk out. They can't without this and without that. They start thinking to themselves, hang on, how come we've gone back to the stone age where we've taken out all our clothing and we're dressing for a, for, a, for, a, for a male dominated environment to soothe the eyes of the males. There was a time when we wouldn't dare tell a woman, you're looking gorgeous. I'm talking about 40, 50 years ago. No one would have come to my mother and say, oh, you're looking lovely. She would say, hey, shut up, you know. But today you say, you're looking lovely. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow, we'll actually put it up. We like it. Oh, someone acknowledged me, you know, because it's all become this issue. So people start feeling this. And what happens is they realize, let me cover up. Let me become truly liberated. People must know me for my contribution to the nation. People must know me for my uh, service to the rest of humanity. People must know me for my character and conduct, not just what I look like. So what happens is when the people who studied what's going on on the globe saw that as much as Islam is being portrayed in a negative way, it's still growing so fast. There was a man, you know, for example, it's just an example that's given online and I've read it where they, the, a man saved the dog, right? So people said, oh, this man saved the dog. What did he do? He, he, the dog was on the highway and he ran after the dog and he saved the dog and he actually brought it to safety. So there was an article saying, wow, man saves dog and so on and so forth. And then they found out he was a Muslim. And what did they say? They, t they, they then put it a headline to say, a terrorist Muslim disturbs the peace of a dog trying to cross the road. Come on, come on, come on.